Alright, hello guys, and this is da -da 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 time for theories with me, the host, 92 Awesome Joe. Of course, you already know him because like, I'm gonna like every video. Alright, and this guy is da -da 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 JT. What's up? Am I on? Oh, what's up? <laughs> yes, I'm the human on. Indiana Jones. <laughs> I'm like his son. Because my father liked Indiana Jones. <laughs> like, not, not like the... Okay, never mind, never mind. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... I I was invited here by your host, Sam, who has a really cool room, by the way. Although, I've been his best friend for like six years, and I moved here like three years ago. Anyways, enough of my stories. So, Sam, I heard you had some questions about my theories. Yes. In fact, you are a theory man, I've realized. Theorist. JT. Theorist. Yes. Alright. First off, what is your theory on... I've heard this one before, but I'd like... I'd be interested in hearing the details again. What is what is what is your idea on um Riley's Riley's father? Oh yeah. What is your idea on Riley's father? Well, uh there is From Inside Out, by the way. Well, there is this other theory that I'm gonna say after this one. So, remember, this connects inside out with get this up. Dun dun dun. Yeah, we really need some sound effects. So, and this is pretty interesting. And considering there's a whole Pixar theory, just eat every detail there is is just amazing. So. At the beginning of oh, we don't see much dialogue. We just see hand motions. But in the middle of that, we have two crises. One, we assume that this is gonna work. We assume <laughs> that they can't have kids. And two, um, Ellie gets sick and she well dies. Really, really. Good detail, by the way, there, Pixar. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, I got to thinking, hey, we need more de detail than that in Up. So, so, here's what I thought. What if that Riley's father is Carl and Ellie's, get this, son? <gasps> How do you think, how do you like that, Pixar? Oh, yeah. Because, at that, when, like, it could, it could have been when they were middle-aged, because it mainly shows them when they're elderly. Pro probably not even middle-aged yet. They, they just got married when they had that crisis. Yeah. Exactly. And, and I have proof, too. I found this Easter egg online, and, and I saw, get this, Carl... And Ellie's wedding, and a picture of young Carl himself. So then I put all the pe so this is where I put all the pieces together. Carl and Ellie had a son, but they couldn't but they couldn't afford to feed him and nurture him and stuff. So they got him into adoption. Then and then and then they had it raised a kid moved to minnesota where we found find five emotions sorting through emotion going through minnesota <laughs> anyways and by the way i came up with most of this my stuff the the only thing i really didn't come up with is that easter egg that i saw online but i mean yeah we're true. trying not to copyright from other easter eggs i mean we could get like puzzle pieces yeah and then we can you know but the th we definitely we're definitely not going to copy the whole theory so anyways does this theory stand up i say yes i i i i think so i mean because we can this is the thing it never shows riley's grandparents well actually it did in the you know in the mind yeah i saw i saw it Oh, by the way, we saw that, uh, 
her, one of her memories is of Carl and Ellie. If, if mm -hmm. I make that clear. That's an Easter egg. So, anyways, yeah. A memory of Disney. Carl by the her. way, I would like to bring up another point. Disney and Pixar. Pixar doesn't do a very good job hiding their Easter. I mean, I'm sorry. Disney doesn't make a very good job of hiding their Easter. But Pixar is pretty good. I mean, yeah. So I mean, but Disney has a lot more than movies and stuff. So yeah. Sam, there was something you wanted to bring up at the end of the movie. What was it? I mean, I mean, at the end of the episode or video or whatever. What was it? You said there was a connection, but to well, actually, oh well, yeah, there was a thing that I that I said. Uh huh. I said, I always had a feeling that the the good dinosaur, that world, even though, even though um. Like the asteroid mist, there's yeah. still a hidden human population. Because where did where did um, Spot's family come from? They just came out of nowhere. I know, right? I mean, and so I had so we had a theory on that, right? And the theory is that either Spot is Adam or his parents are Adam and Eve done done because <laughs> um because see that's the thing they couldn't like they had to be like because uh, in Adam and Eve had like 900 children exactly that that's that's straight from the Bible that's not from Wicca Wikipedia mm -hmm. and stuff that that is straight from the Bible. Some of them like died or moved out. Yeah, so there wouldn't be so. And you know how they all like gray hair, as you brought up. Mm-hmm. They're probably thick on the tail end of their life. Yeah. Uh, and then and then Spot is probably the youngest of them all. Cain and Abel are probably dead by now. Oh, I mean, I mean, <laughs> Abel, Cain is dead. We, we all know that. I mean, he got stabbed. <laughs> Wait, Kane got, Kane's the one who got stabbed. Well, it was smashed in the head with the rock. Well, yeah, but it was a sharp rock. So. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Well, Sam, would you like to conclude this video? Well, yeah, sure. The, the thing is that in... In the good dinosaur, see that the whole human population, the hidden human population thing we brought up, in real life, there's a that that's a real life theory of how humans evolved over dinosaurs. But there's also the theory ha of how they just evolved after the dinosaurs were wiped out. But since there are humans there, they might have evolved over time to where they were strong enough to wipe out the dinosaurs. Then they populated the earth and became, and and they turned into one of the uh, one of the other Pixar or Disney movies. Exactly, and you know how Spot acts like an animal. Yeah, he's probably just about to evolve into a human. His generation. Mm-hmm. Because they, I mean, I mean they're the, basically cavemen. Yeah, I mean the next generations. Yeah, yeah. They, they are basically. So that is a conclusion. See, none of them could talk. Yeah, exactly. So would that be the conclusion? Eh, we can. We should probably make it a little longer. All right. Well, how about?